In this tutorial, we will teach you how to manage an AT8100 series switch using Telnet. Then, we will show you how to change the default IP address of the switch. The 8100 series is unique in that the switch has a default IP address configured on it from the factory. Because of this, the technique we're going to use will currently only work on the 8100 family. Before we start, it will be useful to understand exactly what's involved in Telneting to the switch to change its IP address. So you've got your computer, a switch, and an Ethernet cable between the two. The switch, with factory default settings, has an IP address of 169.254.1.1, a link local address. Your computer will automatically assign itself a link local address of 169.254. something. In this case, in our example, 11.38. Now we should be able to drop to a Telnet client on the PC and Telnet to the switch which gets its access to the command line interface. Once we're at the command line interface we can change the IP address of the switch to say 192.168.1.1. Once the switch's IP address has been changed however we will lose connectivity with the switch because we're no longer in the same network. So then we'll have to change the IP address of the PC to 192.168.1.20 or something that begins with 192.168.1 reestablish our telnet session to get access to the command line interface again and save our changes to the switch. So once again the steps are telnet to the switch change its IP address this disconnects us change the IP address of the PC to something that's similar Re-establish the Telnet session and save the configuration on the switch. If we didn't save the configuration, then the switch uh, would lose the IP address next time it loses power or reboots. Now that we understand the steps, we can get started. One good way to check to see if your computer has assigned itself a link local address is to click on the connection icon in your system tray. If it says limited or no connectivity, that's a good sign. This means that it should have assigned itself a 169.254 address. Then, open up a command prompt window, and from here we'll test connectivity to the switch. The easiest way to do that is using the ping application. Here we'll ping the default IP address 169.254.1.1. What we're looking for are four replies. There's two, three, four. We're good to go. Now we'll telnet to the switch using the native Windows telnet client. Just type telnet 169.254.1.1. We should get prompted for a username and password. Log in with the default username of manager and the default password of friend. This takes us to the command prompt. Now that we've connected to the switch, we can change its IP address. On the screen is a listing of all the commands required to change the IP address of our 8100. After we type in the IP address and hit enter, we will be disconnected from the switch and we'll have to reconnect before we can save the configuration. Alright, open up your Telnet session again and type each command exactly like I showed it on the screen. Config T, interface VLAN 1, IP address. Now you'll notice it'll start hanging here. Eventually you will be disconnected and return back to the command prompt. Now let's change the IP address of your PC. This might be different depending on what version of Windows you have. I'll find my local area connection, go down to TCP IP version 4, and tell it to use a new IP address. It must begin with 192.168.1 but have a different fourth octet than the switch did. The switch was dot one at the end so we'll do dot twenty. The subnet mask of 205.205.205.0 is correct. Now back at our command prompt, we'll try to test connectivity to the switch's new IP address. We'll 
looks fine to me. Then telnet to it. Actually, I'm going to use a third party telnet tool, which you might find easier. Now enable, and then save the configuration. We just described one way to change the IP address of a factory default 8100. You can also use a serial console cable to get access to the CLI and change the IP address that way. Using that method, you won't have to worry about being disconnected. For more information, please watch the video Managing the AT8100 Using the Serial Console. You can also watch the Introduction to Command Line video to get a better idea of what to do next. And for more information on our hands-on classroom training, please visit www.allytelesis.com training.